What's up, you guys, and welcome to a whole new episode of Tony Approved. Now, let's discuss J. Cole's album, The Off Season. The best version of this album cover can be found on Tidal because if you look at it, it has the smoke moving in the background. All of that digital type stuff, I like that a lot. Cole been going flat since back when CDs was around. What you sold, I tripled that. I can't believe look how everybody clapping when your 30 song album do a measly hundred thou. 100 million, I'm still on the grind. 100 million, I'm still on the grind. 100 million, I'm still on the grind. Always connect as soon as you press play. At times you gotta step away, do some living. So just some, I could be one to lean on. I actually listened to most of the artists that's featured on this album, so that was definitely a plus. I love Diddy's prayer. I think that's a really good morning prayer for everyone to pray. I've liked him teaming up with 21 Savage since a lot came out, which it makes sense for them to team up again since they won their first Grammy together. I love the vocal placement of all of the features on this album. Some of the features came in halfway through J. Cole's verse, like his song with Lil Baby. And I also like how he allowed his feature artists to finish the song out, like Boss, Boss killed all of his features on this album and he's featured on like three tracks his vocal style is just so clean and was a nice compliment to the album now there isn't a song i would leave off the album but i definitely wish we would have got an entire verse from killer cam on 95 south all we want to do is take the chains off all we want to do is break the chains off. Huh? You can count me out. I'm counting my bullets. I'm loading my clips. I'm writing down names. I'm making a list. Be thinking I'm deep, intelligent, fooled by my college degree. My IQ is average. There's a young lady out there. She wastes. With this album, J. Cole put out a documentary, which I think honestly goes hand in hand with the meaning of this album. In the documentary, J. Cole said that the goal for this album and why he called it the off season was basically for him to try to see if he can push himself to reach new heights artistically, to write better songs, and to work with other artists and add, you know, more of a feature regiment to his catalog. And a lot of the themes that he discussed in the documentary resonates with the listener when they're listening to the music. For example, in the documentary, J. Cole talks about, you know, basically getting a nudge from some of his friends to take his music and things he cared about seriously. Sometimes as a creative, that's exactly what you need. Just a little nudge for somebody that you trust just to get you moving in the right direction, which comes off in the music in the way that J. Cole delivers his bar. It's very motivating, just encouraging everybody to put in the work for what it is that you want, not giving in to comfort. Once you get to a certain level of comfortability, it honestly steals away your drive to continue to push yourself to greater heights. This album definitely reflects the current times and I feel like it's honestly gonna be another classic album from J. Cole. When you get so much from him, you get the motivation, you get him talking his shit to let everybody know that he is not the one to be played with. Stats wise, all of his punchlines and similes and metaphors were super clean. His music still feels like a conversation that you can really get a look inside of his head and see how he's feeling about the current state of the world and the music industry. J. Cole definitely delivered and I'm thankful as a fan that we have this body of work. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss anything from Tony Approved. God bless.